Hey guys, this is Chaney180, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Dazzler from the Warlock Build-A-Figure wave. Uh, initial impressions of the figure, I dig it. I actually like it quite a bit. Um, I can't really use it in much, but uh, the way that the figure was done is pretty cool. Um, there's some things they could have done better, obviously, but overall, it, you know, came out pretty nice. I mean, the... Uh, Let's take a look at the paint apps here. As you can see, they came out pretty clean. We've got this nice uh, wash in the hair here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Yeah, you can kind of pick it up. We also get this cool little necklace accessory. You know, Dazzler in her uh, disco costume here. She comes with this microphone as well. It's not too impressive, but still cool. And then we get it in her roller skates. Uh, paint could have been better. I mean, they just went with the basic, uh, you know, gray plastic there and painted the roller skate wheels and the stops on the front. We did get uh, some extra sculpt there for the collar, all new head here. Then we got this reused effect. And then we she's got uh, one gripping hand and one open hand. Now I wanted to touch on this real quick here. The cool part is you can actually remove this hand fairly easy. And you can pop in Polaris's hand. And it's the same joint. The cool part is it also fits in, uh, in Rogue's joints as well that we got in the last wave. So that's pretty neat. I really dig that. But let's go ahead and get into the articulation here. And we'll go ahead and pop that off so since she's got long hair this hair doesn't seem eh, it's kind of soft but the head can go up about that high goes down well turns side to side fairly easy the little necklace kind of jumps around so you're gonna have to adjust that the arms go up that far we don't get a bicep swivel we get a swivel at the elbow as always we get a single hinge, swivel at the wrist, hinge at the wrist. We've got this torso here that allows us to go forward that far and back that far. And the legs go out that far. And I think this is still the same uh, body as uh, Silk. If I'm, I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know. But I think it's the same body as Silk. Legs go up that far. We get a thigh swivel, double hinge knee, we get a ankle pivot there, and a pretty decent movement in hinge for, you know, having these uh, bell-bottom pants here. Now, like I said before, there's not much I can, you know, use this for taking pictures with or whatnot, but it's still neat to have a Dazzler figure. Uh, I much would have rathered having the one from uh, the 90s video game, the Outback costume. That would have been a lot cooler. But, however, you know, we got what we got. So, it's all good. Not too bad. Um, yeah, like I said, the paint apps look good. Everything looks fairly decent. It should go well with uh, the A-Force six-pack that's coming out later in the year. Now we'll go ahead and do a quick little height comparison here. Here we have Silk and uh, Miss Marvel. And as you can see, because of the roller skates, it's considerably taller now. If we didn't have the roller skates, she'd probably be around the same scale as uh, Silk there. And for giggles, let's go ahead and swap this out for Rogue. So as you can tell, it's... You know, she's going to be taller because of the roller skates. But that about wraps it up for this review. Uh, thanks for watching. Feel free to click like, leave me a comment, and click subscribe. And don't forget to check Toymigos out on Instagram, Facebook, Weebly, Twitter, and Tumblr. And check out our podcast, They're Not, Dow They're Not Dolls, on SoundCloud and iTunes. Alright guys, thanks a lot. Crispy.